How you finding it? You good? Good, bro. Not too bad? All good. How's this newfound fame and success treating you? <laughs> um, yeah, good, mate. Just trying to um, just be myself. Yeah. Which I find hard sometimes because people expect me to always be like, like, artisty. Yeah. But I'm just me. Yeah. Have you always been this confident? And if not, like, tell me about a time when you wasn't always this confident or has it braced who you are now? Because <laughs> in question. your videos, yeah. there's no shyness, there's no nothing. Yeah. It's literally, this is me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, bro, literally, literally. You know what I mean? You take what you get, all of that. Literally, that's bro. So, like, I feel like I've always been... See, that's a lot, okay. When I was a kid, yeah. I was always confident. Then secondary school, went for, like, a bad patch. Like, yeah. getting picked on, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, it went into my shell a little bit. But I've always been, like... Proud of who I am. Yeah. But then doing music videos, bro, like, obviously, before I was where I am now, like, I've always been very behind the camera, like, deciding what I want it to be. And But there's always been, like, a little voice. You know how it is, bro, when you're on camera sometimes, like, a little yeah. voice going, like, you're a little bit shy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But then, like, I'm glad that I did all them smaller ones. Yeah, Because then first. it gives you the way that when then you're on the big set and there are people there. And one thing that I do pride myself on, I always give it my all. Yeah. So for you to say that means means a lot. And one thing that my best mate that does the camera says, says, bro, I've never oh, worked. Oh, he's sick, you know? Yeah, bro, he's, he's too sick. Dope. Yeah, he's too sick. Bro, he's uh, like, he's going to love stuck, this. Yeah, like, no, he's dope. Like, I'm yeah, saying this on camera. He's actually yeah, sick. Yeah, he's sick, bro. Because I'm he's thinking that like, I'm not... Obviously, you look at artists and you always look forward to the song, the content, yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. But there's always stuff bro, that always it's goes a team, into bro. It's, it's a package. team, bro. It's a thing, team, bro. Like, how you do your videos is very packaged. Yeah, man. Bro, this video is sick, like bro. That. And like, especially for me, that I feel like you can hear me, but until you see me, you're like, oh yeah. shit, like he's a rapper, like do you know what I mean? What's I your favorite video that you put out so far? Biggie. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like just, 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 you know, I like Biggie. 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 The different costumes yeah. that you wear in Biggie. <laughs> it was so fun, but bro. Could, I feel like you're it Henry the Eighth. So, yeah, Henry the Eighth. Then it was like kind of old school Peaky Blinders look. Yeah, yeah. And then Pavarotti. From Cambridge. Yep. Um, Big you up. had a stutter when you was younger, mm. and you started rapping at age ten. Yeah. So. Growing up through all of that, um, mm. was there ever times that you was nervous or, yeah. you know, where you just really didn't want to speak? And yeah, yeah. How did rapping kind of help you just overcome that really truly? Were there any competitions yeah, yeah. that you did? Nah, bro, not even. It was more like, that was a good question. So my uh, parents used to take me to like speech therapy classes yeah. all the time. Mate, mate it's just since I was like, f like, not five, like six, when yeah. I was like year two, year three, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time bro, I got in the room, mm -hmm. the stutter went. And it even got to the point where the speech therapist said to my parents, like, is he just saying this to get out of school? Oh, or okay, does cool. he yeah, actually yeah, have yeah, a stutter? Yeah, 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 So yeah. that's, bro, that was the first time. But obviously back then, gosh, mate, your brain's not, like, great at all. But I properly thought about that like, when I was a kid, like, okay, it must be all up here. Mm. Like, if I don't Did stutter have... as soon as I get in the, in the room, yeah. why do I stutter when I'm not outside the room? Yeah, yeah. So I knew it was all up there. And then it wasn't until, bro, like, a bit later, my brother, we play, like, Kanye, late registration, college dropout, Drop out. but like, I used to rap along to it. And yeah. obviously, but him being my older brother, he lived with me at home, yeah. so, he, so he knew I started really, really badly. And um, What's your favourite Kanye song? <laughs> uh, maybe Jesus Walks. I think in, really? term, in terms of like, bro, I think it's... Of the catalogue of songs but, from but Kanye? That's, that's the hardest thing to answer for me, because I've been like, oh... Hey mama, like that's me. Every okay. song speaks to me on a different level. Like for me, old Kanye West is one of the greatest artists of our time. Facts, hands down, um, he's a genius. Like beat wise, he's lyrical wise, and um, yeah, and I feel like to him that whole self belief mm. image he used to give off. Like he always old music me. It was about believing in himself because mm. no one believed in him that he could rap because obviously he he come from beats and then he exactly. was like, exactly. I'm only gonna give you this beat if I can rap on it, yeah, which yeah. also is G. He hit beats <laughs> yeah. from Jay Z. Exactly. For yeah, himself. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he hit beats from himself. <laughs> Say that again. He hid beat from, from Jay Z. Jay -Z. Yeah, How yeah, mad yeah. is that? You go. Um, so like, this is a touchy one for me because I wanted to get into this. Mm. But in your music, mm. I really like how vulnerable you are. Yeah. I like how open you are. Mm. Um, and I feel like for me, it's very interesting and intriguing to hear someone who is so vocal about family issues. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, especially particularly one with your mum. Mm. So, Massively. Yeah. So, what do you think kind of caused the rift between you and your mum? And do you feel like you guys could ever come to a point where you can reconcile now? Yeah, like I'm better now. Like actually, on the way here, I gave her a ring. Um, shout out to mum. Shout out to mum. Yeah, I love my mum more than anything. Mm. It's just like went through a bad patch of like family. Like my parents split up. My dad found another woman. Blah 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 blah. Mm. And like it was weird, bro, because I've always been my mummy's boy. Mm. My whole life, bro, I've always been like 
I get on my dad, but I've always been closer to my mum. I feel like most men are. Of I course, feel like you're course. always closer to your I've mom. always, I've always said this, and I think it's a proven fact. Mm. There's no other stronger bond in this nah, earth than your mum. mother and son. No, nah, it's not, bro. It's no. not. It's like, it's just a weird, you just love her. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's just love. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just, and um, so for me, bro, it was like, we didn't have a good relationship or good contact. Okay. But like with my dad, it went through a bad patch of what happened, but mm-hmm. we had count and spoke about it. Mm-hmm. But my mum bro, it was like when it all happened, I was at university, so I was far, I was, I was away from home to really like deal with it and talk about it. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was like I know she listens to my songs, mm-hmm. so I was like, I didn't maybe really think about it that way, but I was like, if I know if I put it in the song, she's gonna listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So sure. it's kind of like an indirect. Of course, of course. Um, but bro, also like I feel like it's the best way that I can deal with it. I remember I used to, I used to watch all these interviews, bro, as a kid, like artists, and I always think like. Like, what, what do you mean? Like your music like helps you? Like now, now I get it. Like yeah. sometimes when you even you just say it out loud, music it just, is therapy. yeah, and it just takes the weight of a chest. You're like, I've said it now, and it's out there, and yeah. I feel like even if some people, like, someone's heard it, so at least it feels like yeah. just people will listen to me. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. lyric that you, I think it's in Biggie. Mm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Where you mentioned J Cole. Yeah, it is. And K Cole. Yeah, yeah. J Cole mixed with a little K Cole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Mm. Is, are those two like your fave? Or nah. is it something that you really feel like? It rhymed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But like, it, um, but I love J. Cole. Yeah. And I think K. Cope's far in the booth. Yeah. I always, I always argue the best with, with myself if Wretch, but I still think K. Cope's is the best. Yeah. Of all time. Okay. Um, and I just don't know where he's gone. Like, I really want him to come back. Like, he's, he's done a little bit some more recently, but like, mm. um, but now like, I feel like I have, there's meaning behind that and the fact that I feel like J. Cole obviously being from the States, can go to England, like mm-hmm. I wanna know I'll people know that I love both. Mm-hmm. Like I don't um just like one. Talk to me about Nas and Freddie Geeks. Well. Twenty seventeen. Yeah, mad. No, nah, Gib- Monumental. Gibbs Monument. was yeah, no, no, Nas fans I mean, yeah, Gibbs was just twenty eighteen. Okay. January, last year, Christ. What Jesus, time Talk time goes so quick, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, How was that like? Nas for? was Again, what did he say to you? Oh, bro, it's mad. So, so I was gonna go I to the gig. Gems. Yeah, yeah like, so I was gonna go t- to the gig. Is when I was living in Liverpool yeah. at the time, and the promoter of the gig, I was trying to, bro. You know, it's like you have to hustle, mate. No matter which way it is, like of course, of course. whether you're handing out posters, blah blah blah. Just get your foot. People don't understand that. Yeah, I've been like working behind the scenes for so long, man. Like just mm. doing little bits and bobs because it's who you know, bro, in this game. And um, anyway, so I was going to go to the gig and I remember hitting him up and being like, hey man, I'm wondering if I can get on the guest list. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a week, this is the God's honest truth, right? There's no other lie. A week before, he went, you're on the list, but not as the guest list. And okay. I was like, I was like what, what, what does that mean? I was like, what does it mean? And then he sent me a picture of the artwork. And I kid you not, I thought he was taking the piss on it. Like, yeah, I, was yeah. like, I was like, what? I was like, B- B- B-. And then there he was like, do you want to open up? And I was like, do I want to warm up for Nas? I was like, yeah. I was shitting myself. And like, I can't lie, bro. Like, I've never been so nervous in my life. Because I respect... It's different when you when you play somewhere where you like the vibe, but you don't. Yeah. When you respect someone and you studied him as a kid, that like his schemes, his rhyme schemes. Sure. Nas got me into hip-hop. Do you know what I'm saying? And like, you look up to him, mate, and you like you listen to Illmatic when I was like 13, bro, mm. like back to back for like six months. Like, I couldn't stop playing that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's different when you, when you respect someone. There's a different level of like... Nervousness, because yeah, like, nervous like, like, yeah, you know what I mean. I'd mean? probably feel the same if I ever met Nas or Jay yeah. like, He was lovely though. Yeah, but it, it, but it was like I mean I can't lie. I only met him for like two minutes in between. It weren't even before. Yeah. It was like when, when, when after my set and I walked back downstairs behind stage. He was there then, and though he might be lying, he was like, "Yo, man, you killed it, dog." In like that real like that Nas voice, that yeah. like. Mellow, but the like, that you said gee, that yeah, bro, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I was, I, I said that to you, man. And I said to all my boys, I was like, do you hear that? <laughs> like, do you hear that? Um, but yeah, bro, it was sick, man. It was, yeah. um, and then Gangster Gibbs, mate, like, Freddie Gibbs is probably my favorite rapper alive, to be honest. Yeah, like, I, I, I found him through Madlib when I was like 17 when he released Pin Yar, okay, and then same thing, mate. It was the same guy that was put on the gig, and yeah. I hustled, hustled, hustled. And then the, the, the crazy thing is with this one, and this is another gem for you, mm. and most people don't know about this. I was on the, the warm-up for it in 2016. Okay. But that was the year when he got arrested. And all his oh, Europe tour got Cancel. pulled. Yeah. So the day before the gig, I got a ring off the promoter. 
He's like, yes, lad. Um, Do you still they, get paid for that? Nah. Really? I didn't. Nah, nah, nah. Bro, like, because I'm, I'm the warm up, innit? Nah, nah, but, but I did get paid for the one that was on Dent. Do you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, and he rung me and was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, the gig's been cancelled. He's, he's been arrested. And I'm so much of a fan, I didn't care about warming up. I was like, I was like, what? what? He's been arrested? Yeah, like, yeah, what? What's yeah. up? Yeah, and he got arrested. If, if you go online, you can read all the story about it. Anyway, and then when he got, when the tour got redone, like 2018, I was up like, hey, I remember, I was like, bro, you've got to let me, like, I was on that one. Like, yeah. you've got to let me do this one. And we did it. And that's when, that's when, that was a big thing for me, actually. Yeah. Because DJ Semtex come to watch me, on it. Big up Semtex. Yeah, big up to ev every time. Um, I think my last two questions would have to be this. What's it like working with Hank Solo and Barney Lester? How, do, how have they Wicked. improved you as an artist? Mate, great, great, great question. Um, Hank Solo, bro, is the fucking bomb. He's a, he's like a, Scand all these Scandinavians, Sweden, Finland, and these people, bro, they come from such a pop mm -hmm. background that they're ear, bro, for like commercial music, but without it sounding commercial. That's the best pop, especially in the urban world, bro, is stuff that doesn't sound like pop. Yeah. But the chords are very catchy and like the hooks are big. Very big. I, I just got to sound as big. Everything here is is just big and it's in it's in your face. Like it's mm -hmm. like, whoa. Um yeah, and just just taught me, bro, like them people out there, bro, are just such hard workers. Yeah, yeah. Like, we start the studio at 10. I was like, what? I was like, it's not, it's at 10. I was like, bro, I'll be in bed. I was like, he's like, no, nah, no, nah, at 10 o'clock studio. And we, yeah. do, and we don't leave for like 1 a.m. in the morning. And it it just in, it instills in you, bro, that work ethic that like, he works with some big names. And when yeah. I, obviously when I first had the session, I was not nervous, but you're a bit like, Christ, that like, he works with like big people. Yeah, I mean, you're really good at storytelling. Mm. I think for me, that's probably, just so storytelling in itself is a skill. Mm. How do you feel like you've kind of developed that skill for you? Because Bro. even though you're talking about your life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've been able to say mm. it in a way where it's just, we want to listen, we want to yeah, tune in, we want to hear. I'd say, bro, three things. Honesty, like I'm so, I feel like I don't see why people lie. Mm -hmm. I never get that. It's like, if you want to be successful and you want to be big, imagine laying your head down at night going to sleep. And you've got a song that's massive, but it's not not true. You'd be like, "This is shit." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't like, feel it as much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. When you tell the truth, yeah, and something works well, you're like, people like me. They don't like this image I'm putting on. Yeah. Secondly, bro, like, fam, like listening to the, the two packs, the Nas, like Nas. Who tells a better story than Nas? I, I just don't think anyone does. I think in terms of like storytelling, the guy's the best. J Cole's really good though. Yeah, really but. Good. It'll make for me, bro, track by track, everything's a story on the mm, album. Mm. Like, every, every song's different. You know, it's crazy hearing you say that. Yeah, yeah, that's mad, man. bro. And, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, man, so I feel like, bro, just listen to that, bro. Like, subconsciously, you pick up on, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the more you're around stuff, the more you pick it up. Bro, it's of course. human nature. Like, you pick stuff up. Of course. And three, like, being, like, the size I am... I always think it's in school, right? I was picked on by obviously being big. Mm. So I feel like I've been through... I bet things are different now, though. Yeah, yeah. But, but the, way, the way I look at it, bro, is I've been through bad stages where like, I was belittled and put in, like, how do I explain it? Like, I was laughed at. Yeah. So I, ha I have no fear of shame now. Okay, yeah. So I can just say what I feel like because mm -hmm. I've, I've felt bad. If you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, I understand like, so, completely. So, so, so it's like now it's like... Completely. I've felt how it feels to be laughed at. So yeah, yeah. I know how it feels. I don't... I'm not scared of that. Where yeah. I feel like a lot of artists maybe are a bit nervous about saying how they actually feel because they haven't had them feelings. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I've I couldn't care what you think of me because I've felt it. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like the the them three things of like honesty and what I've listened to, mate. Growing up, like I come from a very like um, the best thing about me not living in London, bro, as a kid, was I wasn't always caught up in like what's hot. Yeah. So from being from Cambridge, mate, you you, you found the rap like you. Rap wasn't forced in your face yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on what's hot on the street. You had to find it. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up, mate, listening. It's mad too, like Nas and like mm. Big Pun and L and like, so I listened to the greats and mate, that's the one thing I think we lack in today's rap is people storytelling. Yeah. Like, they all like, oh mate, I wish, I wish I was born back then, brother, innit? <laughs> I wish I was. I can see it in his face. Yeah. Big Heath! Can we have a round of applause, please, Thank man? You. Congratulations on the latest project, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank Still. you, brother.